day four i'm so excited i'm um, really loving all your feedback thank you so much for all the support so far on vlogmas i'm having a lot of fun um yesterday's vlog seemed to ruffle a few feathers and i went on instagram stories and sort of talked about it a little bit more and i'm going to include those snaps from my stories now just because i feel like it needs to be addressed more like I only got a couple of comments about it but um it was enough to just solidify that there is still such a problem with just how men seem to think they can treat women and that we don't have a right to react to it. So I'm going to get into the stories and um, we'll go from there. So my latest vlog is stirring up some people, triggering some people. So it's titled Caught a Creepy Man Staring at Me. And what happened was I was at the servo yesterday and I was filling up my car with petrol and there was a man in front of me filling up his car. And the whole time I was pumping my petrol into my car, he was eyeballing the living daylights out of me. He would not stop staring and he was real creepy and he was real like, kept moving around. So he kept like just staring at me. And you know, anyone who's been stared at for a really prolonged time, you guys know it's creepy. It makes people uncomfortable. So anywho, I ended up like turning my head because I just didn't even want to make any eye contact with him because he was freaking me out. And then my camera was recording. So it caught him walking behind me and him yet again, like eyeballing the shit out of me. So I put it in my vlog. And then when I got back in the car, I was like, there was some man staring at me because I was referring to him at the Bowser. I didn't even know he had stared at me like that when he walked past me. So I had a handful of comments, which I believe are all from men. Funny that, hey. Um, being like, oh, he wasn't even creepy. He was probably just looking at dad ass. Nothing wrong with looking at dad ass. And it's like, you're right. There's nothing wrong with admiring someone and thinking someone looks good and having a little glance and being like, she looks really nice or he looks really nice. What is wrong is when you eyeball the living daylights out of someone to the point that they feel threatened, uncomfortable and intimidated. And that's what the problem is here. This man made me feel like he was going to knock me on my head and shove me in his fucking van. And in 2018, that is not an unrealistic thing to think of because rape is such... A huge problem. Women are being raped and men every day. People are constantly being sexually harassed. I am not like crazy for having my warning signal triggered by that man. I am smart for being aware, you know? And as I said in my pinned comment, I don't know if he was perving on me. That's not actually my first thought because it wasn't like a damn girl. It was like, he was just watching me like a hawk. And I mean, it could have been because I had a camera on my dash. I don't know. But even then, like dash cams are such a thing. So why would you care so much? But pretty much all the people triggered are assuming that this guy was just having a perv though. And essentially what they're saying is that it isn't fair of me to call him a creep because he was just having a having a good old geezer at my ass. And um, it doesn't matter that I felt intimidated and incredibly uncomfortable, you know, because my safety isn't paramount apparently. This man being able to get his perf fixation is apparently the most important thing in this situation. 2018 for you. So I'm not talking about this because like I feel like I need to justify myself. I'm talking about it because I think some people need to like wake up and smell the roses. That sort of attitude of like, I'm here for you to do whatever you want to and it doesn't matter how you make me feel is exactly why rape culture is such a problem in society and I'm not going to be silent on it, like no way. And I know there's definitely going to be people watching this being like, oh, she's a male-hating feminist. And um, that's just not the case. I don't hate men at all. I just don't like men that treat women like we're objects for their disposal. Just don't say anything vulgar and sexualized to me. There's a lot of men that comment on my fashion videos and they are the sweetest, kindest human beings I've ever encountered. You guys know who you are. I respond to all of your lovely comments and I appreciate your kindness. And men like that are exactly what men should aspire to be like. Like be the type of guy that uplifts women, not like treat us, treats us like, you know, but just a whole. Honestly, some dudes just don't get it and then some dudes do get it and I'm hoping that hearing me speak about it, if you're a guy that doesn't get it, you might understand a little bit. Um, as always though, 
if you're someone, period, who is just kind and polite, I love you and we have no problems, male or female, no problems. And at the end of the day, staring, period, is actually really rude. It doesn't matter if you're a male staring at a male, a girl staring at a girl, a boy staring at a boy, a girl staring at a boy. Whether or not you're perving or you're just staring to stare, it's actually really rude. Don't do it. So I just want to reiterate one last time that I know not all men are the same. A lot of men that I know in my real life that are people like I surround myself with are the most lovely, kind, respecting men on planet earth and they treat women with so much love and respect and the dignity they deserve and I realized that like when I was reading through some of the comments I got this morning that they're all from people who leave really creepy really inappropriate and really vulgar comments on the internet or their channels are like fetish channels and stuff so like the people coming for me are creeps so <laughs> I don't even know if there's any point in me posting my updated like little rant about the whole topic because the only people that don't get it are people that are guilty of that bad behavior and you know in the time that my instagram stories went up and that video went up i've had hundreds of dms from women just explaining about how they've been in very similar circumstances and how they're constantly made to feel uncomfortable by men whether or not it just be like icky from being just grossly hit on, whether it be made to feel uncomfortable, potentially threatened. And it's such a problem. And honestly, if you're a creepy dude, you probably don't get it. And you're probably never going to get it. But I just want all those nice guys out there to know that like you're awesome. And I appreciate all of you. And you know, women don't hate all men. Women just don't like pig men that think they can treat us however they want with no consequences. And that's the other thing. A lot of people are saying that like, it's really bad of me to shame this man on the internet. I don't feel guilty in the slightest. He was fucking creepy. And I don't even know if he was looking at me to perv on me, but everyone wants to sort of associate those two things together. All the people that are coming for me are essentially saying he was just perving on me, give the guy a break. And um, that justification is just so off. It's not fair that women feel unsafe so often around men and those creeps give good guys really bad reputations and it's just not fair and I feel I feel really sorry for nice guys who do the right thing because there's so many fuckwits that don't and um, I just anyone that's like a positive male role model just please be vocal and loud about it because you guys are the ones that are really going to implement change at the end of the day misogynistic men don't listen to women period and they never will so it kind of falls on deaf ears but I nearly hope me making this video isn't so much to sort of you know talk to men directly it's more so to speak to women about not tolerating it and just making sure you stay safe and being aware of your surroundings and like always be on alert because we have to be like we are targeted and that's not even being dramatic we are people just need to look up the statistics and educate themselves We've got to be safe and we've got to be careful and if you're a man who actually respects and cares about how women feel, then you need to be more conscious about how you behave around us. But at the end of the day, if you're a nice guy, you shouldn't even need to think twice about it because it should just be instilled in you already. So yeah.